the carnage. And the corner of a tank is clear full. Hopefully Alex is just chilling there on the side of the freeway. My name is Caleb Peck. And these are my two brothers, Brady and Alex. Ever since we were little kids, we've been obsessed with anything to do with off-road. You're watching Peck Brothers. This is our story. What's up, everybody? So, Alex was on his way up here to go buy a Jeep just north of here. He calls me up, he's like, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm just about ready to go work on the Jeep. He's like, dude, I just had a blowout on my truck. I'm like, what? Dude, your tires are like brand new. And he's like, dude, no, it blew out full on. Sends me a picture, detread the whole thing. So I gotta jump my dad's truck. So I don't have a truck anymore. Can't fit the spare in my wife's car. So I gotta jump in my dad's truck, bring him a spare 37 that I have for my next truck, bring it down to him two hours away, put it on. It's gonna be freezing cold. It's gonna be dark and it's on the freeway. But hey, what are brothers for? The bad news is, I can't find any DeWalt batteries around here for my dad's impact. So we gotta borrow Brady's. Hopefully he doesn't see this video cause he'll kill both of us for sure. Dead, we'll be dead. All right, we gotta use his jack too. So I got one. I'm not saying I don't have one. She's a Harbor Freighter, you know, nothing wrong. Unless you wanna like use it more than five times. My jack won't hold it up. So we gotta borrow Brady's jack. Dad, don't let him see this video. So I have a choice here. Take Brady's straps that look so nice, or take mine that are fairly not as nice. Nah, I can't. So I'm cruising along in my truck. It's a nice truck, let me tell you. And all of a sudden, like, I just hear this boom. I look behind me because I'm towing a trailer. I look behind me and it's dusty and crap going everywhere. And so I, like, I can tell something's wrong. So I hurry and like, get over, get on the side of the road. And I'm like, what happened? <laughs> let me, let me show you guys what happened. That happened. Like what the heck? Like these are nice tires. I don't understand. It's got plenty of tread. Yeah, I know the audio is probably terrible, but we're gonna, I actually just bought this trailer yesterday. Um, I bought the 14,000 pound one just in case I needed to ever put my truck on it. And turns out the next day I have to. So I'm gonna put my truck on the trailer. Caleb's coming down with my dad's truck. And uh, I think that's how we're gonna get home. Problem two, is that motorcycle that's on the trailer. I picked that up for a guy that I'm buying a Jeep tonight from. So I, ha I still have to drive like another three hours to go get the Jeep that I'm buying and switch him out. So I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. And nobody has a 3722 in stock. So I guess we're gonna wait for Caleb. It'll probably be like two hours before he's here. I'm starving, I'm hungry, it's cold, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm scared. Just kidding. I think I have some trail mix in the truck. So I'll just turn on a movie, take a nap, and wait for Caleb. It's kind of funny. I'm not even really sweating about this. Because normally my truck doesn't see anything past a quarter of a tank. It thinks that a quarter of a tank is clear full. Okay, I got a little update. So I've been sitting here for <laughs> probably an hour and a half. Just staring at the sky. Um, the problem is I live in Orem, Utah. Caleb and my family's up in Idaho. I'm on my way to Idaho to buy a Jeep and to stay the weekend. So Caleb's coming down in my dad's truck to come pick me up. So we got that figured out, right? But nobody has a Toyo MT that's a 37 1350 R22. Like they're on back order from tire shops. Nobody has one. So I'm like freaking out. 
So I got on KSL, I found a guy that had five. And he, he's got two like pretty much new ones and then three used ones. So I text him, I'm like, hey dude, I am uh, I have some bad luck here. One's blown out, can I buy just one from you? And he's like, yeah, sure. He's about 30 minutes south of me. The storage unit closes in like an hour. I have another one of my buddies, Eddie, that's going to go pick it up for me before the storage unit closes. Bring it to his house. Caleb's gonna come get me. We're gonna load this truck on the trailer, load the motorcycle that's on the trailer in my truck, hook trailer onto my dad's truck, turn around, go back down 30 minutes, go get the tire, then head up to Idaho and hopefully get some sleep, wake up the next day, have my tire fixed, go grab the Jeep, and then we're chilling. So hope that made like any sense. I kind of doubt that it did, but that's that's the update so far. Hopefully Alex is just chilling there on the side of the freeway all safe. We're fresh out of fuel. We spend so much money on diesel, it's disgusting. Okay, I got another update. I got, one of my uncles lives like five minutes from where I'm at right now. And he was down kind of by where the guy I bought the tire from lives. I just Venmoed the guy, so it's mine. So my uncle's like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll go pick it up for you. So he's gonna go pick it up and on his way past me, he'll drop it off. So then I don't have to turn around, drive 30 minutes back, get it and drive, you know, it adds another hour to my trip. So thanks, Ted, I appreciate that. I'm still just waiting on Caleb. Caleb's here. Someone else stopped behind him. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Who is that? Hey, get out of the way, dude. I need help. There he is. Good day, mate. <laughs> you hey, made it. What's up? Ready to change a tire? Yeah. Grab my gloves. Yeah, it's, it's flipping cold. Nice. We got a jack. We got a tire. How long have you been here? Probably two and a half hours. Honestly, you got down here pretty quick. Dude, I was flying. I'm only gonna be mad for a minute. Don't tell mom I was flying, but I was flying. There's the carnage. Holy cow. I've never seen a Toyo do that. I've never had, especially without much tread. Like if it was a road slick, like. Yeah, if it right. was like a tire off one of my trucks. Yeah. If it was anything but these, I would have understood. These aren't even a year old. I bought them brand new last March. So not even a year old. I'm just real glad it didn't hurt this wheel. You no know, kidding. Dude, these wheels are way too much. That'd be a shame. Like if it hurt you, that's one thing. Oh, I but don't if give it hurt, a flip. Yeah. The wheel, different story. Or the, the truck doesn't really matter either, really. Oh! I'm flipping cold, haven't eaten nothing today. My truck broke, I'm still cold. I just want to get home, that's it. You ain't cold till we get up to Idaho. I shouldn't have said that. Look at that. Oh, so we actually found a battery for Dad's DeWalt. Wow! <laughs> so I brought Brady's just for kicks and giggles. Don't say that on camera. Well, we did borrow Brady's jack too, and it doesn't have a handle on it. Yeah, this thing's this thing is it's cherry. Is that really the only handle you brought? I need some motivational speech or something. Come on, Caleb, let's go! Bill, I need a move for a change. I leave the city and return with my you have a piece of wood that we can put in here? I ain't got nothing. I got two ramps and a Bosch that's set with half the Ooh, sockets well, in there. Leverage. Yeah, get that. That'll, that'll help. What do they call that? A <laughs> uh, cheater. Cheater. <laughs> cheater. <laughs> cheater socket. Dude, I, I can't jack it up. What are you? Oh, unless horse? I got up under there and pushed it with my foot. No? Do what you gotta do. Dude. I just like. Come on, I thought somebody, you were a peck brother. Make it happen. If somebody hits this thing. Ow. 
No move for a switch up. I hit the bunch and hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picks a perfect, so I told him my. You're trying to lift the whole truck up. Yeah, well, could have just done one side. Yeah, it's not tall enough. Wow. Like, finally. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. I wonder if it went because all the tire shine that was on it. That's not tire shine. That's called differential fluid. <laughs> you serious? That's an axle seal gone yeah, out, huh? Holy fish lips, dude. Way that had anything to it was just lube in the tire. Yeah, well, there's you no would... way that made it blow. Naturally, dude, that's bad. Do you think we can like vulcanize it and use it again? Oh, dude, for sure. I bet we could super glue the edge. I'll bet Brady could sell it to somebody if you wanted to sell it. I need to mount my oh, oh, don't. Oh, it'll buff. That'll what? buff. Whoa, we got bolts falling out. Everybody knows you flip the cap upside down and put the bolts in there. Hey, you're welcome. That's a set of tires that I just happened to have that were 37s. Oh, well, huh. Well, that's going to be pretty scary for whoever gets under there, and it's not going to be me. My wife will kill me if I die. Oh my. Watch that thing. It'll hit your fingers, and it hurts. Dude, it's hard to pull. I told you. Yeah, you, you were joking with me. <laughs> there it is. Oh, God. Nice. Is it going to fit? Nice. Oh, it's downhill. Oh, dude, Ooh. I didn't think it was going to fit over that. Um, How bad are that is tight? How bad would that have been if he accidentally sold you the wrong log pattern? Oh, dude, and, and I drove clear down, down here. I'm ready to be warm with some Chick-fil-A in my hand. Yeah, we're we're definitely gonna hit Chick Fil A. I wasn't kidding. Well, that just goes to show that new tires really aren't all that. <laughs> <laughs> like it can happen to anybody. That was just a science experiment, and our hypothesis was used tires are fine, and it was just proven that we can run road slicks. Are you stupid or something? Exactly. I've never, I've never had. had my tires actually come all the way off like the lug nuts, like the wheel. Like that's, Yeah, that's not a tire problem. Yeah, no, it's not that's a tire a problem. That's a lug nut problem. Yeah, oh, and a driver builder problem. Yeah, we definitely proved you don't need new tires because they blow too. Okay, so Caleb, uh, Caleb came and caught me off the freeway. He brought one of his tires that he had bought. He just had a 37 with a wheel hanging around. That was my lug pattern luckily so came and saved me we got off the road or off the freeway came and got some chick-fil-a and as i was sitting there eating chick-fil-a with caleb i just was like it just hit me i'm so grateful that i've got brothers that would li that literally dropped everything like i'm sure he had stuff to do it's a friday night he's married he's got a wife he's got stuff to do he didn't even think twice. He was on the road coming to save me. He literally drove like an hour and 45 minutes from home to come save me. I just, I'm just grateful for my family. I love, I love it because I do the exact same thing for him. I'm pretty grateful for, for both my brothers and a dad that was willing to let us take his truck and get whatever done that needs to be done. Like, it was awesome. I would have had to call a tow truck. Would have this, this trip would have cost me like a thousand bucks. But no, I've got family that came and helped. Didn't even like ask nothing. They just said, okay, we're on our way. We're, we'll come save you. Why on earth is there a BMW motorcycle on the trailer? You're never gonna believe this. I've, I've heard a listen, lot. Listen, this guy, he probably lives like four and a half hours away from me, right? And I'm like, hey, I want your Jeep. And I, I told him I'll come up on Friday, right? And he's like, okay, well, 
I've just, I bought a motorcycle that's probably 30 minutes away from you. He's like, can you just bring it up to me? <laughs> what? Yeah, so I was like, I'll bring it up to you, but you got to meet me closer because I don't want to go driving that far. So I, he's going to meet me like an hour away from Braid's house. So that cut off like an hour and a half. So we're the delivery service for the BMW. And that's why we have an adventure bike. We got to put the bike in the back of the truck so we can put my truck on the trailer. That's when you can say to a chick you're going out with, I got a BMW. Hey, that's pretty good. That's freezing. And then we're going to tow it with dad's truck. Yeah. Man, I got to unload it tonight because I got to go early morning to go buy the Jeep and drop this bike off. Come on, man. What is she doing? So we had to borrow our Uncle Wagon's hitch. There's been tighter things before. There, there's been Those tighter fits. Those are Peck Brothers clearances right there. Yeah, oh, it's... That's 100 thou, I'm pretty sure. That's, that's, uh, you know... Thanks, Wagon. Thanks, Wagon. That'll hold. Our insurance company ought to get to know us before they insure us, honestly. <laughs> we can't let them watch our videos, or we won't have insurance real quick. Wow! They heard me said it was. Heck yeah. My other tires are gonna look bald compared to this one. This one blows out. We're calling Toyo. Oh Toyo, yeah. And they're going straight to bed. We're gonna start running boggers. Yeah. Or bog. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, thorn birds running. maybe. Let's get this puppy on the truck. What? What on earth? Truck's too wide, and we don't want to uh, ruin these new wheel wells on Alex's new trailer that he bought yesterday. We putting more fuel in? Yep. Wow. So what do we got here? It's midnight. Mind you, my truck broke at 5.30, and we've gone about five miles. So we're on the right track. Well, this is cheaper than Costco. We can deal with that. We put his truck on the trailer. The bike was on the trailer, so we put the bike in the back of dad's truck. And I still have to unload it tonight. And I gotta wake up in like six hours to go drive to Pocatello. So I'm mm. stuck. That sounds like a riot. Tomorrow. Yeah. three hours of sleep yeah yep that wasn't a long night at all but look what we picked up she's a cute little i think she's an 03 dj one tons v8 atlas coilovers oh, it's uh it's got eight lugs i think it's an eight lug yeah they're eight lug lockouts yeah. here yeah um, it's got a uh, hard top i think it's a cj that's what he told me we got home at about 2 30 woke back up at 6 30 and drove up here. So tired, I can't even hardly breathe right uh, now. We're we're sick of being tired. Yeah. But I don't think that'll ever change. No. But we're gonna get some breakfast here at Denny's. Then we can go home and work on my Jeep. Work on Gabe's Jeep. Six and a half hours later. So we just got Alex's Jeep home. I just got a haircut. He's already playing around with it. He's getting the Jeep bug. Obviously, he didn't buy this Jeep to like really heavy wheel with it. I think he just bought it because he doesn't want to drive his truck to work. He works really close to his house. He's gonna keep it, probably do a couple of things to it, keep it for a second, and then try and trade it for something. squeal <laughs> that's the power steering pump something's coming from somewhere yeah that's that's fun I it looks like, like fun i like snow wheeling but i wish i had something that would go more than like 10 feet you gotta just hit it faster
she needs some one ton steering. Really? Huh? Something doesn't sound right. Maybe I'm just hearing stuff. It doesn't smell weird either, if you guys are wondering. I mean, there's a little burning smell. It's all right. Just burning off some oil or something. Burning off oil? Probably. It doesn't need it if it's burning it. It just passed the snow test, so. Right? Is that a pass? Pretty much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Well, I can't say it was fun to make, but. It happened, so we're on about four hours of sleep, ready for a nap, but real tired, yeah. terribly tired. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like this kind of content. Like, leave us a comment, do whatever you gotta do. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys soon. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit